I gotta keep them two away from each other. And I smoked him, and he's down, and I'm gonna go see him. <laughs> Welcome to Texas, Miss Vicky. <laughs> I got a twofer. It's like, what the heck is going on? Pam, Pam asked if we would leave now. Pam did not ask. <laughs> sick puppy. These guys are sick puppies. The choice is about three things. Real hunting. Going after the animal of your choosing with the weapon you know. Real adventure. From the mountains of Canada to the desert to Mexico. But most of all, it's about real people. Hunters with families, jobs, and dreams. Their skills will be put to the test. Every situation is different. Success or failure. It all comes down to the choice. Rough to that one's for you. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this week's The Choice, it's the new the season. season. It's a brand new season. It's cool. How cool is that? to share with you. You know, one of the things that we always say on The Choice is it doesn't matter what you're hunting, what weapon, where you're at, as long as it's legal in your state, province, or country. We need to stop the fighting Absolutely. amongst ourselves. Absolutely, and get more people out there hunting. That's it. We're bow hunters. But as we, you know, continue with The Choice, we're learning more and more. And we don't know much, but we're trying to, to let you guys learn from our mistakes. We make a lot of mistakes. Yeah, we do. One thing we didn't make a mistake but on, though, is Lucky Logo. We're still doing Lucky Logo. This Ameristep. That's right. So How at the end of the show, that? we'll tell you what to do. And someone, I believe, is getting a ground blind, plus a bunch of other great I stuff. I think it's a choice ground blind. Do you? I think so. We'll have to see. We should have brought the thermosel. You should have brought the thermosel. What you do should, you think? I don't know. Oh I wasn't. Gosh. Anyways, we're going to take, we're going to put our bows down. We're taking out our TCs, TCs baby. We're gonna letting them spunk some deer down south Texas. At Nuvius. No, 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 Vios. no, Vios. no, 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 Low fence, it's gonna be fun. I got some extra critter going on down there too, didn't I? Oh uh -huh. my gosh. Hey, you know what I noticed? Here goes. Is that if you sit there, wait, put your head just right. I do see light. Wow, that's amazing. Wanna go check yeah. the other food plot now? You know what kind of light it's gonna be? Yeah. Black. I've had a lot of opportunity to spend time with Vicki at shows and stuff, but I've never shared hunting camp with her. So when Brian and I had the idea to ask Ralph and Vicki to come down and hunt our favorite South Texas ranch, the Novias, I was really excited and hoped they'd be able to find time in their schedule. So I called Vicki up and asked her if she could clear a spot for us, and she was able to, and I was really looking forward to sharing camp with them. Well, we came down here to hunt on the Novius Ranch with Pam and Brian. They had invited us to come on down um, and share a whitetail camp with them. The Novius Ranch down here is a low fence ranch down here in South Texas. And what they do down here is honestly, they're not taking deer unless they're seven, eight years old. They're waiting for them to be older unless they realize that by about five and a half, six, that they're not gonna get much bigger than what they are except for maybe some added mass. And they consider those their management bucks. And that's the kind of hunt that we're down here on. Ralph and I are down here participating in and, and it's been a great time. You know, at home, you don't have to worry about certain things like walking into cactus and we, they had snow flurries last night. It's 20, I, I think it was gonna be 22 degrees. I'm sitting here right now. I have my white Rocky Lightweight gear. Uh, oh, I could see my breath, but it's not cold. Wow, is this cool. You know, we got in the tower blind uh, probably a little earlier than we did the other day. And, and when Frank goes out and they corn them, and you've got these deer coming out of this thick cover because that's the only way you're going to get them out there. It's still dark and you're like, oh, I, I think I could see antlers. You know, I'm looking at my through my edges and I'm like, uh, yeah, oh, he's, yep. What is he? Is he an eight? Is he a 10? Is, you know, and, and the adrenaline starts pumping more and more. And then you look down another scenario and there's more deer and then another. And, and I mean, it just, it fills you up. And, and as the light progresses, you know, you're, you're like, okay. And you're, you're waiting. You're just waiting to get that, that green light from the Frank man. Frank's got his Nikon spotting scope mounted on a rifle stock. And he's up there and he's going, okay, there, there, there's one, there's a management deer. Yeah. I got the green light, boom. I got the TC bench, I'm like, okay. He says, oh, oh, now wait, there's another one. Okay. That's a 
good night. My oh, friends. It's a pretty nice area. Thank you. It's all right. It's a pretty beer. Yeah, he is. Which one? This one over here. Okay, he's good. Okay, we'll take this old guy here. Let me not. Oh, now he walks in. We look at him, say, oh, he's a mature eight. He's definitely, they want him out of here. And so he's coming down and this other buck starts posturing in tune. And we're like, and I'm like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. And he walks into the brush and he comes right back out. He starts to feed. I make sure nothing's in back of him. Nothing's in front of him that could lift their head or anything. And, and I put that BDC reticle on him and I put him down. Oh, baby. <laughs> it took five deer when he finally got him. Frank's dead away, brother. Frank said, okay, there's one. No, wait, there's another. There's another, there's another. And you're like, ah. It's like, what the heck is going on? Yeah, we're in Texas. And we just shot a management aid, and I'm geeked, baby, geeked. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, baby. Beautiful looking buck. Hot dog. <laughs> yes, sir. It is December 2nd. It is freezing back home. Nikki, Z, Joe, and I are here with Pam and Brian from She. And uh, Mr. Jackie, thank you. We're at the new Vijos ranch in south texas and i just shot a phenomenal management book and they call that management very cool Thank i thought you. i was gonna have to take you <laughs> <laughs> yeah lady luck here so vicky doesn't have anything yet so that means you win one for the guys yes but i ultimately won because i was the first one so there's that I gotta keep them two away from each other. <laughs> Congratulations, Thank honey. You. Good job. Good job. <laughs> sick puppy. These guys are sick puppies. <laughs> good job, good job. Thanks. Did I ever tell you I love Texas? Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. That's yeah, a nice deer. It, it you can't decide which one, which one you want to go for. Those box blinds are hard. You know what I mean? They because are. I mean, you only have so much to look out of. I mean, they had good windows in there, but you oh, got to yeah. look at all those the, different the senderos. The blinds are great, but you've got all these senderos. You're looking and you're like, oh, 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 oh. You know, which one, which one? And well, it's I'm like, glad you took the one you did because now it's my turn. And yeah. you guys told me you saw one that you didn't take, and I'm going to head there. I probably, See what happens. I probably should have shot that. <laughs> I'm happy with the one I got, but I should have told her about it. Learn from my mistakes. Don't tell your wife where you see the other good deer. Pam, Pam asked if we would leave now. Pam did not ask. Yeah, she did. No, you're afraid I'm going to shoot a bigger ask. deer. I did say he won. He won? Why yeah. did he win? First deer. I said he won. No, she won. She shot the That's what deer. I said. I followed it by that. Good job. And then there was some smart remark about keeping us away from each other. What is that about? What's up? Huh? You got a problem with us hanging together? Yeah. Pam and I, we're kind of like it. You got to watch out for us. It's the last afternoon of my hunt. If something happens, if something doesn't happen this afternoon, then I got to go out tomorrow morning. But we have to catch a plane tomorrow early afternoon. But I'm going to shoot that big nine that you passed on. I didn't pass on him. And really, you probably should go for an eight. There's a spindlier, a spindlier eight, smaller. But that nine looked really but, nice. Yeah, but you don't want to shoot nine. Why? No. Why? Because Fra Frank said that's a, a borderline. Well, Borderline what? You did. Uh, I just finished one of my better hunts for the weekend with the guy from uh, Illinois. He's, uh, he's a great guy to be around. I think that nine point that we saw, they're going to go after him this afternoon, and we need to save him for Vicky. He's he's a little better deer, and she'll probably she'll get more pleasure out of it. <laughs> We saw a bunch of does and yearlings come out right away. We saw a bunch of little spikes, little bucks, young bucks. And then all of a sudden about a whole herd, about 10 of javelina come right out in the middle of a sendero and we're watching the javelinas. And Lamar says to me, he says, you know, Vicky, he says, if, if this nine shows up and you're able to get them, those javelina are still out there. 
you can go ahead and take one of them too. And I was like, okay, yeah, we could do this. I said, and then if, you know, a call buck comes out, just joking around, of course. But so we started laughing about it and started singing about that I have high hopes and everything else. Well, because she's got ah, high hopes. She's got ah, high hopes. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Go to Facebook.com slash Ralph and Vicky. Welcome back to The Choice. You know what? What? It's, again, Texas is pretty cool when you think about it. It is. And now we need to get back to that ground blind or to that big box blind, I should box say. Box blind. Box blind. Lamar and Joe and I were having a good time up there and we're just waiting for You guys your... were having a blast. We were. And then we had some javelinas and we have some deer and we just what happens. We sat there for a bit, and all of a sudden, the nine shows up down a total different Sendero, way out to the side of us, and we rearrange everything in this box blind so we can get set up on him, and he stands there perfectly still for me. I put my Nikon scope right on him, the crosshair is right on his chest, and I let that TC bark. I forget I can turn my scope. Oh, it's right, right, right there where I need it to be, right? Oh, it's a beautiful nine. That crab on the right would look really good. She shot the nine point, made a great shot on it. It went in the brush. It was a good, solid hit. Uh, we talked about it, let her enjoy that. And finally, I just kind of looked at her and I said, how about one of these over here? Didn't take long for her to bolt another round in that 270. And the barrel was out the window and the javelina was down. Texas, Miss Vicky. <laughs> I got a twofer. I got me a twofer. I got me a javelina and a big old nine point. Those dusters still standing here at 120 yards. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a good laughs> I guess I didn't need to worry about that shot, huh? <laughs> I didn't not, wait too long. If I'm not mistaken, uh, nine is one more than eight. I believe it is. <laughs> I believe it is. Therefore, I win. <laughs> Lamar, Cute. thank you so much for having us down here. Oh, and you're very welcome. It, we have had just an absolute blast, and this is just an awesome oh, and a beautiful, is, beautiful day. Glad to have you all here. Thank you again you're so much. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Brian and Pam, thank you so much for inviting Ralph and I down to be able to share a camp with you guys. We've had an absolutely beautiful, absolutely fun time. And I did a twofer, so I mean, you we got a we got a javelina over there. We got to go pick up two. Exactly. That's, I've never shot a javelina with a rifle. Oh. Yeah. I've missed it with a crossbow, though. A good size one. Look at him. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, he's got some chompers on him. Yes, he does. And they stink, so, yes, right? They stink very much. Coffee at 7.30, my dear? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Yes. Well, let's go. All right. Like the first dinner she ever made for us. Key. I, I sat down at the table and she had these beautiful quiche that looked like that I worked looked all, day on. all day on it. I sat down and I ate it and I said, okay. I was thinking that was the appetizer thing. <laughs> that was for dinner. Hey okay, guys, what's for dinner? Thank you, blood of Jesus, and for your precious grace. Through Christ we pray. Excuse me. Oh. 
for this hunt down at the Novias, I had had a particular buck in mind that I saw on trail cam picks. It was a really nice, typical 10 with uh, very long tines. He caught my eye early on and I decided that that was the buck I was gonna go after. So when I came down, I sat in the stand that he had been closest to for several hunts, several mornings, several evenings, and I was actually starting to think I should move. And finally on the last morning that I was gonna give it at that stand, I just happened to peek around the window to check the Sendero, and lo and behold, there was this big guy walking up the Sendero. Very quickly, I had to make some adjustments and take my gun from one window out to the other and try to do all that while he stays there. Those bucks come in, and sometimes they stick around for a while, and sometimes they check the does, and then they're out of there again. Not having seen him for a couple days, I was kind of scared that might happen, but I was able to get good and steady, and he just took that one fatal step, and I took the shot. Oh my gosh, that buck is awesome. I, I'd almost given up on this morning because it's getting late, the wind is just swirling, and I haven't had many deer out at all, and I was expecting him to come down the Sendero in front of me. That's what I've been hunting for four hunts, and all of a sudden I look over there, and he's coming down the Sendero, a couple other does feeding around him, and he's just as calm as can be. I was able to kind of switch everything over here. I thought he's never gonna stick around, but he did, and I smoked him, and he's down, and I'm gonna go see him. He, oh gosh, he is amazing. I'm watching this, this buck on trail cam picks for a couple months, watched him in velvet, watched him come out. You know, you watch him there and then you see him in person and they are awesome. I'm glad I stuck it out in this stand because like I said, I almost gave it up this morning and went someplace different because yesterday was so slow. Then this morning I was thinking, oh, I should have gone someplace different because the wind is going crazy and the temperature dropped a little bit from yesterday, which I thought would get things moving, but there just was not much activity, and I pretty much in my mind thought, okay, I'm, so, I'm going somewhere else this afternoon, but this goes to show your hunting trip can change in one second. I can see from trail cam picks, this, this brow tine used to be a lot longer. He broke this off, probably fighting, but what an awesome buck. He's a huge buck, too. Huge body, but, and the tine links, He's got such long tines. That was one of the things that caught my eye in the trail cam pick when I thought, oh, I'm definitely gonna try to scout him out. Awesome buck, I can't wait to show everybody. We love Texas. Huh? South Texas in December, I mean, there's nowhere better to be. You know what's crazy is to go down there during the dead of winter, enjoy it, it's not miserable, see all those kind of deer in a low fenced area. Yeah, great I mean, friends, fun, Lamar, Frank, Pam, Brian, all of you guys down there at the Novius Ranch. Thank you so much for letting us come out and hang out with you guys, and we had a blast. I got a twofer, my javelina with my deer. So anyways, so don't well. forget the lucky logo, Ameristep. Because you're gonna, someone's gonna win a choice blind and a bunch of other great stuff. Really? Yes. Are and you next sure week, that? next week. What do they gotta do for the lucky logo? They gotta log on to choicetv.com oh and gosh. fill out the information in order to win. They all know that. Well, just in case. Whew. Could have a new viewer. You never know. Next week. Hi, welcome. New are you, are you ready? Pack it up because we're going to the Moose Mecca. Yes. In the, of the world. New feet. Newfoundland. And That's did right. you know that per square mile, mm -hmm. there's more moose on the island of Newfoundland than anywhere else on this planet? No, I didn't know that. And we are going with the best out there, Bob Effort. Effort's hunting. Really? Yes. Very cool. Moose, a black bear, and caribou. Woodland caribou. Very cool. Yeah. So, come on, thank you for watching this week's show and making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. Oh, uh, I sure Newfie? hope so. Newfie. Newfie's an island? Oh my gosh. Really?